Hello, I'm Susan Fagan, your 9th District State Representative. Thank you for tuning in for this week's update on the 2010 session of the Legislature. This year's session, like all those in even-numbered years, is scheduled for 60 days. In odd-numbered years, when we work on the biennial budget, sessions run for 105 days. The legislative process and workload are just as intense in a 60-day session. We just have less time to get it all done. In this update, I'd like to tell you about some of the bills I've introduced that are being actively considered in the State House. House Bill 3031 is aimed at helping small governments like rural counties and small towns deal with requests for public records. In particular, those occasions when a request for public documents takes an inordinate amount of staff time and materials to produce. Because of budget constraints, many county and local governments have cut back on staff and services. The bill is designed to provide a reasonable way to help them meet the legitimate needs of citizens and to receive fair compensation when staff must handle particularly large requests for public documents. For example, the bill would allow a public agency to charge a fee in advance if a request for documents would take more than five hours of staff time to produce within a month. There have been occasions when requests have been excessive and, and sometimes frivolous. The bill aims to create a balance between the need for citizens to obtain public records in a timely way and the competing obligations of government employees to meet demands for services with limited resources. House Bill 2839 would give a helping hand to the city of Pullman, my hometown. Urban areas that collect stormwater runoff in municipal separate storm sewers and discharge it to surface waters are required to have a permit under the Federal Clean Water Act. Although it's a federal permit, the regulatory authority has been passed to the State Department of Ecology. House Bill 2839 would allow Pullman to delay implementing the permit requirements until 2014. The bill had its first hearing January 26th in the House Ecology and Parks Committee. A committee vote on the bill is expected for January 29th. House Bill 2556 would allow certain grain warehouses an exemption from financial security deposits. Under current law, a warehouse or grain dealer must provide a financial security deposit before they receive a license from the State Department of Agriculture. Under House Bill 2556, a warehouse that only receives grain from licensed grain dealers would be exempt from paying a financial security deposit. The bill had a hearing January 21st in the House Ag and Natural Resources Committee. The committee is scheduled to vote on the bill January 28th. I've also introduced a technical bill that would help irrigation districts be more efficient with their scarce resources. That's House Bill 3030, which is under consideration by the Local Government and Housing Committee. I'll keep you updated throughout the session on how the bills are progressing. And in the meantime, I invite your comments and opinions because your thoughts and ideas are important to me and always welcome. I'm Representative Susan Fagan. Thanks for watching.